so this is the diagram for your question number 11 okay now if you see that diagram i think you have your textbook you can see the diagram there in your textbook if it is not very clear here the question is telling you to find what is a b you can see a b is there on the extreme left okay by the way let me magnify this a little bit here it is a b okay now uh, you can see that this angle is what will be taken now as uh, here this angle is what is 60 degree so then what i'm going to do now is i have to take this two triangle uh, see now the first triangle which i'm going to take is i'll take triangle b c d in triangle b c d so i know perpendicular since 30 degrees there perpendicular is known to us let me find base bc perpendicular base is what is tan so i'll take tan 30 degree is equal to perpendicular by base then you know tan 30 value is 1 by root 3 and perpendicular if you see on the extreme right side it is 3 root 3 is perpendicular and base is what we are looking for base is what is bc now cross multiply bc into 1 is bc and now root 3 will multiply 3 root 3 so root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 into 3 is 9 so now i know bc is what is 9 centimeter so that lower side i know now is what is 9 centimeter now so in this triangle abm abm i will calculate what this angle is this angle so i calculated the lower angle as 60 degree this is 90 as you can see this is 90 so if this one is 90 meaning this angle is what will come here as 30 degree so in this triangle so i can calculate angle b a m is what is equal to 30 degree okay now i'm going to use this triangle only for this purpose now the final calculation will come in this triangle in triangle a b c now i am again going back to that previous triangle which i had taken in triangle a b c bigger triangle now so now 30 degree is what i know of this triangle I know perpendicular also perpendicular is what is a 9 this 9 is what is perpendicular because the angle is on the top this is what is the angle angle is on the top so perpendicular is 9 and the question is telling you to find base so perpendicular base and means it is what is tan so taking tan 30 degree which is perpendicular by base tan 30 value is again 1 by root 3 perpendicular is 9 and base is what is your AB and if you cross multiply the value of your AB will come 9 root 3 again this is what the answer is but again if you want to find the answer in decimal so then you can multiply 9 with uh, root 3 value root 3 value is 1.732 and you can get the answer in decimal this is your question number uh, 11 now going uh, to the next question i think our next question is uh, question number i'll take now since i'm trying to take all different questions so i that's something which i'm finding a little different is now what is question number 13 yes i think i'll rate this question number 13 is as the most difficult question out of all the question that you have come across in this uh, exercise question number 13 is little uh, as compared to others it is difficult so i'm doing 13 1 and i'm leaving 13 2 comparatively 13 2 is easier as compared to 13 1 so that's why i'm taking the tougher one 13 1 and yes uh, please note that this type of question you will have to solve plenty in class 10 in the chapter which is called height and distance and this type of question is very very common in that ch chapter but since you are given this two question in this exercise at question number 13 1 and 13 2 so i'm solving one for you the other one i'm leaving it for you to solve so i'm solving 13 1 okay so there you have the diagram you can see a very strange thing about the diagram is that you are given 30 meter which is not a part of a right angle triangle because it is a part of triangle a d c i repeat again it is a part of a triangle a d c so 30 meter is not a right angle triangle and every time in trigonometry we are taking right angle triangle so as we are taking right angle triangle but this 30 meter is not a part of a right angle triangle and in the question you are also given root 3 value as 1.732 that means they are expecting your answer in decimal so we have to solve yeah, the answer in decimal all right then so here we go then you can see that both the triangles right in fact you will find two right angle triangle in triangle uh, a c b is also right angle as you can see b is right angle and in angle a d b that is the big triangle also has angle b as 90 degree 
so both the triangle has one side which is common both the right angle triangle i'm talking about right angle triangle both the right angle triangle has one side common and that common side is ab and the question is telling you to find that only find ab and the other question is asking you also find what is bc so once you can find ab uh, bc also becomes easy to find so first we'll find ab so what i'm going to do now as that ab part is a common side for both the triangle so i am going to assume that ab as x so here you go let this ab be x i am assuming this ab as x okay now see how to solve this type of question every time in this type of question you don't even have to think of other trigonometric ratios every time it is tan because perpendicular is what you have assumed and base is what we are looking for so perpendicular and base all right now let me solve this question now always solve it in this uh, uh, format the way how but then don't forget that this is not the ultimate you have many different ways of solving this type of question but uh, i would suggest that it, uh, this is the easiest way so you can go with uh, this method okay here it is i'll first go with the small triangle in triangle a c b this is the smaller triangle so in this smaller triangle so i as i told you already i'm going for tan so because perpendicular is what i have assumed as x and base cb is what i want to find so there we go then tan 60 degree as you can see the smaller triangle has 60 degree is equal to perpendicular okay directly let me write perpendicular is x if you look at the diagram uh, perpendicular is ab and base base is what is cb and i want to find that cb in terms of uh, x tan 60 value is root 3 and this is x by cb so if you cross multiply you have root 3 cb is equal to x so you can now write down cb is equal to x by root 3 so i found out what is the value of cb and cb value is what is x by root 3 let me write in the diagram cb value is x by root 3 that is what is cb now let me switch to another triangle the bigger triangle so in triangle a b b okay our bigger triangle is adb so there you can see the angle is 45 degree so i am going for tan 45 degree is equal to perpendicular by base now if you look at the bigger triangle also perpendicular is the same ab and that perpendicular is x and base is lower side dc which is 30 meter and cb which we have found as x by root 3 so again i am repeating that base is this full from d to b so i'll divide that into dc and cb so let me write down that dc dc is 30 meter and cb just now we found as x by root 3 okay tan 45 value is 1 and on the other side if i am taking the lcm on the denominator so let me find the lcm in the denominator the numerator is x and denominator lcm is root 3 then this is 1 will go here root 3 root 3 into 30 is 30 root 3 and plus this is what will be x now let us cross multiply okay separating this one okay let me separate this okay if i separate this okay then if i cross multiply now i am going to have thirty root three plus x over root three is what is equal to x after cross multiplication then again further cross multiply now one more time let me cross multiply that will be root 3 into x is root 3x and on the other side you have 30 root 3 plus x now bring all x on the left side so root 3x you have and i'll bring that right side x plus x also this side will be minus x and that side is what you have as 30 root 3 then now don't subtract don't put the value of root 3 now you take out common now between this root 3x and x the thing that you see common is x i'll take x as common so it will be root 3 minus 1 and that side you have 30 root 3 now to find the value of x as this bracket is multiplying as you can see this bracket is multiplying with this x so this root 3 minus 1 i'm shifting on the right side you have 30 root 3 is what will be divided by root 3 minus 1 now don't leave your answer like this because as you can see you have root in the denominator and whenever you have root in the denominator as you can see root in the denominator you are supposed to rationalize rationalize and get the answer okay here i go now i'll rationalize now how do you rationalize whenever you rationalize see now i think i'll do rationalization with uh, uh, this green color okay 
the lower bracket that you see lower part denominator that you see is root 3 minus 1 when you rationalize you have to multiply with the same thing but with opposite sign if minus is there you have to multiply with plus if plus was there you would have multiplied with minus not only on the lower side with what you have multiplied the lower side upper side also you have to multiply with the same so it is root 3 plus 1 so upper side you have 30 root 3 multiplied with root 3 plus 1 and the lower side is root 3 now then let's see now what we will get further x is equal to now upper side you have as 30 root 3 and this is what is root 3 plus 1 and lower side is a minus b a plus b now algebraic formula i've learned a minus b a plus b is a square minus b square and a is root 3 so root 3 square is 3 and then minus 1 then x value is equal to now i'm going to keep this as it is because i want to cancel this 30 with the 2 that i'm going to get in the denominator root 3 plus 1 and lower side we have 2 now this 2 will cancel to 30 15 time now let me open the bracket now 15 root 3 will multiply root 3 okay now 15 root 3 let me tell you now this 15 root 3 will multiply root 3 also this 15 root 3 will multiply 1 also so 15 root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 into 15 is 45 so i am getting 45 plus 15 root 3 but you are expected to get your answer in decimal and since in the as you can see there in the question uh, you are asked to find the answer in decimal obvious because root 3 value they have given so this root 3 value you can replace now so x value will be equal to 45 plus now 15 you will multiply with 1.732 okay we will multiply this then that is what is going to give you x value is equal to 45 plus okay now let me multiply 15 with 1.732 so let's see what happens when 15 is multiplied with 1.732 1.732 uh, if you are multiplying with 15 then you are going to get 25.98 so then the value of x so in this if you are adding 45 you are going to get 70.98 if you want you can round it off to 71 so 70.98 meter is what is the value of x and don't forget what is x x is what you are asked to find find what is a b so now you can write a b is equal to 70.98 meter similarly you are also asked to find b c now since you know what is b c so you can see b c value is what you got here here b c is there now you can put the value of x <coughs> x value you got just now 70.98 you can put the value there and solve and get the value of c b okay now going to the next question question number 15 uh, this is comparatively a very easy question uh, a very very long question is given to you uh, when a rocket is fired vertically upward from its launch pad p you can see that p point p is what is the launch pad so a rocket is fired it goes 20 meter there up as you can see till o then from there o as it travels to 80 kilometer at 30 degree so then from there well, now what happens it rises 20 kilometer vertically up and then travels 80 kilometer at 30 degree to the vertic vertical as shown in the given figure PO represents the first stage of its journey and OQ represents the second stage. If R is a point vertically below Q on the same horizontal level as P, calculate the height of the rocket when it was at point Q. Now when it is at point Q, what is the height? Now let me show you what the question is telling you to find. You are asked to find what is QR, question number one. And the second one is what is the horizontal distance between R and P? That means you have to find also what is PR. So you have to find QR also and you have to find PR also okay so here we go then but before we do anything you know that there is no right angle triangle i have to first convert this into a right angle triangle by joining a line from here straight a right angle triangle is made now okay since you have p uh, q r o now i'll mark this point as s okay so let's mark that point as s now 20 kilometer is down so if 20 kilometers op then is understood that you know that rs is also 20 because the opposite size of the rectangle so now i know what is sr 20 now if i can find qs this one qs means this side if i can somehow find this qs then i can add qs and sr that 20 kilometer and i'll get what is the height of the rocket and for that yeah i need to take the triangle so here you go in triangle qos in triangle qs i need that uh, perpendicular also i'll be needing the base so both perpendicular and base is what is required for that triangle for question number one i need perpendicular and for question number two i'll be requiring base 
so first let me then find out what is perpendicular so perpendicular is what i require and hypotenuse is what you have as you can see 80 km is the hypotenuse perpendicular and hypotenuse means it is what is sine but then there is a small problem now with the angle the angle that 30 degrees what is on the outside the triangle not inside we want that inside one so then you know total is 90 this is 90 total full is 90 this one and if the 30 is the upper one then it's obvious that the lower angle what you want is what is 60 degree because 30 plus 60 is what is 90 so that is why i am going to take now sine 60 degree is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse sine 60 value you know is root 3 by 2 is what is equal to perpendicular the yeah, perpendicular is what is qs and hypotenuse is what is 80 okay 2 i'll cancel 80 40 times here yeah, and cross multiply your value of qs is equal to 40 root 3 okay let me can convert this into decimal so 40 into 1.732 so let me multiply this if i multiply 40 with 1.732 let's see what happens 40 into 1.732 if it is multiplied then you are going to get this one as 69.28 now you know that 69.28 kilometer is what is your qs this qs this part now two questions are asked the first question is asking you find what is the height of the rocket qr so if i want to find qr then it is this uh, qs just now which you found which is qs plus sr so qs is what uh, we have just now found at 69.28 and sr is what is 20 so this is what is 89.28 kilometer is what the answer to the first part what is the height of the rocket now the second one is asking what is pr now you know what is os they are the opposite size of the rectangle what is os same will be pr so let me first find out then what is os triangle i'm going to take the same qos so now what i'll do now i'll take base since i have to take base and hypotenuse it is cos cos 60 degree is equal to base by hypotenuse cos 60 value is 1 by 2 base is os and hypotenuse is 80 so 2 will cancel your 40 time again so if you cross multiply your os value is what is 40 kilometer and if os is 40 kilometer the second question is telling you find what is pr and you know pr is equal to os and that is 40 kilometer so there we have 40 kilometer as the value for your uh, uh, pr the next question uh, the next uh, little different question that I'm seeing now is uh, question number 16 but now I think uh, now the questions are completely becoming easier they are easy 16 is easy 17 is easy even 18 19 they are easy but uh, I'll do as many questions as possible so let me go to now next question question number 16 okay now your question number 16 also has two questions I'm going to do the first part uh, let me do the first question uh, the question is telling you in the given figure determine the remaining sides of the triangle remaining side now you can see one side is given to you you can see this side is given to you and you have to find the other side that means you have to find pm side also that is uh, base part also you have to find perpendicular also okay now for that let's see what we will do so since only one triangle is there i don't need to write in triangle o p m it is that triangle only and hypotenuse is given and let's suppose i am looking for perpendicular hypotenuse and perpendicular means it is sine so let me take sin 30 degree is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse sin 30 value is half and perpendicular is what is om we are looking for that and hypotenuse is 16 root 3 by 3 now i'll cross multiply so that will give you 2 om is equal to 16 root 3 by 3 now let me find out what is om if you want you, this 2 and 16 you can cancel it here only there is no problem so you can cancel it like this so 2 1 the 2 2 will go to 16 8 times so that means now your om is equal to 8 root 3 by 3 so if you want you can keep your answer like this or if you want to answer in decimal then root 3 value you can replace it with 1.732 and find the value this is what is om since nothing is mentioned in the question about to find in decimal i'll keep the answer in root form only so om value one side now is 8 root 3 by 3 
Now let me find the low, lower side PM also that is what is base and since it is base base and hypotenuse I will take it as cos. So cos 30 degree is equal to base by hypotenuse cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 and your base is what is PM and hypotenuse is 16 root 3 by 3. Now let us cross multiply it is twice of PM is equal to root 3 multiplying 16 root 3 by 3. So that is 2 PM is equal to now root 3 and 2 root 3 root 3 into root 3 you can write 3. So it is 16 into 3 over 3. Okay, now let us do the cancellation 2 will cancel to 16 8 time 3 and 3 is cancel. So there you are your value of your PM is 8 centimeter. So this is what is the value of your PM. So simple and easy. This is question number 16. Now let us shift now to another question question number 17. Now let us see what we have to do for question number 17. Now in question number 17 the question is telling you find what is the value of this angle theta. So you can see here is the angle theta this is the angle theta and you are given perpendicular you can see this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse perpendicular hypotenuse means it is sine. So taking sine theta which is perpendicular by hypotenuse now I do not know what is the theta so I will write it as it is sine theta is perpendicular which is 50 root 3 and hypotenuse is 100. So if I cancel this 50 and 100 twice so then I am getting here sine theta is equal to root 3 by 2. Now you people are all expert of uh, the standard table now. Now you know sine what value is root 3 by 2 you know that value and then it is sin 60 degree you know sin 60 value is root 3 by 2. Now we will assume that sin and sin is cancelled both side so your value of theta is 60 degree so simple question. So I did just now 17 1 uh, I expect that you will be doing number 2 that is also very easy and simple. Yeah now let me do the last question and the last question does not have any diagram because it is a statement based question which is all based on uh, how good you are in your English. So, I will just read it for you now. A ladder is placed against a wall such that it just reaches the top of the wall. Okay, now think now, now I, have, I have to make the diagram now. See, think that there is a ladder and a wall. Okay, here and every time the wall is vertical like this, ladder. You have seen how we keep the ladder. And if this one is the ground, ladder is kept always this way, slanting. This is the ladder. And if I am marking this as point A, B and C, this has to be 90 degree because wall will make an angle of 90 degree with the ground. Now let us go back to the question now. The foot of the ladder is 1.5 meter away from the wall. Okay, This is the foot of the ladder. Yeah, This one is the foot of the ladder. If this one is the foot of the ladder and the distance from the wall, foot of the wall, this is the distance. Now this distance is what they are saying is 1.5 meter. This distance of the foot of the ladder to the foot of the wall is 1.5 meter. And the ladder is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with the ground. So this ladder is inclined. Ladder is making an angle of 60 degree with the ground. So this angle is given. So the diagram was not given. So by reading the statement, I understood what they mean. So place the ladder properly, wall, ground, I made it. And then you can see I made a right angle triangle. Now the question is asking you, what is the height of the wall okay let me mark now here what is the height of the wall this is what the question is asking now in my diagram the question is telling you to find what is ac so if you look in the diagram base is given to you 1.5 is base this is base and this is what is perpendicular base and perpendicular you know is tan so using tan very easily i can solve so tan 60 degree is equal to perpendicular by base tan 60 value is root 3 Perpendicular is what we are looking for AC that is the height of the wall AC is the height of the wall and base is 1.5 if I cross multiply then AC into 1 is AC then we have root 3 into 1.5 okay since one is a decimal and the other one is a root let me convert this 1.732 is what is the value of root 3 and multiply with 1.5. So if you multiply the value of root 3 which is here 1.732 and if I am multiplying with 1.5 I am going to get AC value which is the height of the wall as 2.598 if I go to 3 place of decimals so there you are 
it is 2.5 or if you want to write in just two decimal place you can write 2.6 meter rounding off to just one place of decimal so this is what is the height of the wall so this completes the exercise i am leaving question number 19 for you it is easy diagram is also made for you so